yummy? Is it yummy? <laughs> Baby approved. Today, we're going to be installing the WaterDrop G2 P600 reverse osmosis water filtration system. Before I get into the installation steps, I wanted to quickly talk about the model that I have. Now, if you go to waterdrop.com, you'll see the G2 and the G3 prominently featured on the website. And if you were casually looking through the website, you would only think that they have these two models. But if you go into the product section and scroll all the way down, you'll see that there's another variant to the G2, and that is the G2 P600. Now, the only difference between the G2 and the G2 P600 is the flow rate. With the P600, you get 600 gallons per day instead of 400 gallons per day. Now, you do pay a little bit in premium for this, but uh, when I was looking, comparing these models, I thought that faster flow rate was worth the $50 in investment. All right, let's talk about installation steps. Now, if you don't have a hole for the faucet, then that's the first thing you'll want to do and drill a hole into the countertop. Once you do that, you attach the feed water adapter from the cold water supply and then install the faucet. You then install the wastewater tube right underneath the sink. Then you connect all those tubes into the device and just power it on. All right, I'm gonna attempt the scariest part of this installation, which is drilling a hole into the quartz countertop. Now I got myself a drill bit um, off of Amazon. It's a one and three eighths inch drill bit. I'll put a link into the description below, but apart from watching a couple YouTube videos, I have no idea what I'm doing. So hopefully I get this right on the first try and not regret getting a professional. Looks like the hole is really good, I guess. Uh, I might have scratched up the surface, so let's take a look. It's a very ugly hole. Yeah, not very happy with this. Hopefully it will cover, the faucet will cover up most of it, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna turn off the cold water supply and attach this thing. We're now going to install the faucet. The faucet's really straightforward. So you drop it into the hole and then you have this black washer that goes underneath. And then this nut holds it into place. And then after that, you put this quick connect and this uh, blue locking pin.
think we're ready to install the drain pipe now. So what we're gonna have to do is drill a quarter inch hole into, into the drain. And by doing so, we'll be able to install this drain saddle. Now for the fun part, the final step, just connecting tubes. All right, we want to now connect the cold water supply into the input port here. Okay, make sure that the black mark is all the way fully inserted, just like that. There we go, fully inserted. And finally, we're gonna connect the wastewater line, which is the red one, into the last hole here, marked W. Right. And then we're gonna plug it in. Okay, one final step then. Um, we're gonna have to run the filter for about 30 minutes until this LED turn solid blue. Right now it's not even on. I think it's because the water's not running, so I'm gonna turn on the water. All right, okay. I turned on the faucet. It is blinking now, so that's good. Now we're gonna wait 30 minutes. It's such a waste of water. Now it's been 30 minutes. This LED is now solid, so we can turn off the faucet now. All right, we're gonna taste the water. Cool. Yeah, it's warm, but it tastes really good. Mission accomplished. Is it yummy? <laughs> Baby approved. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough for it.